Hello and welcome back. These uh, video tutorials are for you to get the information you're looking for quickly and without too much fluff. So here we go. We're diving right into it. So today we're working on our direct selection tool. Now you can take my logo here as an example. I'm going to zoom in here so you can really see what I'm about to do. Okay, and um, if you're getting used to Illustrator and you're brand new to it, a couple of things to learn here. Um, this is a vector-based program. So this is outline mode. And now what I just did was a command Y. Now that takes you into the outline mode, which you can actually see all the lines that are creating your vector. Let's zoom in a little bit and you can see the whole thing here. Now, what you can do with your direct select tool is actually pretty interesting to see both ways. So the first way I'm going to do this here is in outline mode. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and select my white arrow tool right over here, and then select a node. And these are your nodes that flow with the art. Now, this node is selected, and as you can tell, it's blue, not white like the other nodes. I'm going to grab that node and I am able to pull that node into whatever direction that I feel like. And as you can tell here, it completely disorients and changes the look and feel of whatever it is you're touching. I uh, control uh, command Z to undo. Um, and again, you can do this with any node individually or as a group. So let me show you as a group. All I'm going to do here is show that I'm selecting this. Now I'm just holding down the shift key, clicking on each one of these nodes, and I'm going to pull all of that together. Now I've selected this entire bottom section. Now what I'm going to do is click and drag. And as you can tell right away, I missed this one when I was doing my selection. So a good way to make sure you grab everything is to go ahead and select. You can do a drag, which will select just about everything in its path, but it didn't grab that. So we're going to go ahead and grab that last node. And there we are. We're able to pull it around and really kind of mess with it. So again, this is very, you know, very, uh, simple tool. It does a few options. You can use this as a tool to move your object around as well. So let's go back into our color mode and I'm just going to select my design and I'm going to move it around. It's as easy as the as the selection tool. You can use it just the same for that purpose, but it does have its other options available. So there's there's the selection tool. Now we're going to move on over to the what's called the group selection tool. Now the group selection tool is just slightly different than the selection tool, but it comes in handy for specific purposes. Now for a group selection, it only selects whatever is the entire uh, vector image as one piece. And let me explain that a little bit more. So I'm going to select right here. And as you can tell, it looks like everything's been selected here. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. Click on this one more time. And I'm going to pull just off to the side. And if, if you can actually tell what's happening, I'm going to show you right now. See, it selected everything but my inside of my D and DLN for my logo. So we'll go back here. As you can tell, it's back to where it was. It hasn't been affected. If I go ahead and use my selection tool, I can still move this around and everything is still in place. So the group selection tool is really useful if you just need to grab the object that you wish to edit separate from any kind of compound shape that is probably uh, either taken out of it or a part of it. So there you are. So here's your group selection and your direct selection. Just to give you a quick quick recap there. So thanks again for watching the videos. My name is David, and uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know uh, if you're coming up against any kind of uh, 
funny illustrator problems, I'd be happy to help. Um, these videos are short and sweet, so you can get to learn exactly what you want to learn and move on. So thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.